So I'm Sama Sleiman. I'm an associate professor of biology at the Lebanese American University. My work focuses on identifying the molecular mechanisms through which physical exercise generates positive effects on the brain. I used the funds uh, from my work to attend the Society of Neuroscience meeting in uh, 2019. So the Ben Bars Award made a significant impact on my work. At that time, uh, Lebanon, where I currently reside, was going through an economic meltdown and resources for research, for uh, being able to attend uh, any um, conference were very limited. It also gave me the opportunity to continue working and to contribute at the time when uh, opportunities were unavailable in my country. My name is Maria Eugenia Segretin. I'm a CONICET researcher at IGEVI CONICET in Buenos Aires, Argentina, and I'm also a professor at the University of Buenos Aires. My research focuses on understanding the diversity in Argentina of the Irish famine pathogen phytophthora infestans, which causes potato late blade disease worldwide. My goal is to translate that knowledge into potato breeding programs to deploy with disease resistance in the field. I received the notification of the award while I was isolated due to COVID-19. I was sick, away from my child and without vaccines yet, I was really afraid of what would happen. Being awarded gave me a high dose of energy to endure isolation. The award gave our project visibility in the community, highlighting the importance of plant disease studies for field security and sustainable agriculture, even gaining attention in the newspaper. We have started to build a valuable collection of isolates representative of different potato growing areas, and colleagues have begun contacting us for collaborative research projects. I am Ismail Yanuk, an associate professor in the Department of Electrical and Electronics Engineering at Hacettepe University, Turkey. First of all, the points from my award were invaluable in compensating for the extreme devaluation of our currency. Unfortunately, we do not have a startup fund in Turkey, so this award was critical for building our first experimental setup and begin data collection in a very short period of time. The funds were very important for me to build uh, my first experimental setup to study multisensory integration with zebrafish and weak electric fish. The timing of the award was fantastic for both my research and career. It allowed me to build the initial version of my experimental setup and start collecting data for my grant applications. I believe that the setup and the preliminary data played a critical role in the acceptance of my Meriskodovska Creations project from the uh, European Commission. I'm Professor Shah Ignala of the University of Johannesburg in South Africa. My research area falls under the umbrella of human anatomy. I was the recipient of the Ben Barry Spotlight Award for 2021. It allowed me to travel to Spain, as well as to Turkey, where I met collaborative researchers, and this afforded me the opportunity to have a context of their research facilities and see where I could contribute further to future research. My name is Anastasia Banashak, and I'm a research professor at the National Autonomous University of Mexico and based in a very small campus located in the Mexican Caribbean that borders the Mesoamerican reef system. I am a marine biologist who studies coral reproduction. You may have seen in the news that coral reefs are in crisis, and the focus of my lab is to help in restoring coral reefs by producing baby corals from sperm and eggs that we capture in the wild, and then we outplant them once they are big enough to fend for themselves. I won the Ben Barris Spotlight Award in 2021, and the award money was used to renovate our wet lab, which is where we raise our coral babies. Receiving the award really made a huge difference for my team and for me, because the renovation of our lab really motivated us to restructure it and to make our lab much more efficient and safe to work in. So I am Felipe Aguilera from the University of Concepcion in Chile. My area of research lies on developmental biology and evolution. So I have spent my award in constructing a mesocosm system to study how marine animals adapt to climate change. So by receiving this award, I actually opened a lot of um, 
avenues and new doors to me. And I, now I can apply to more applied research uh, funds and also international grants. Uh, my name is Ritika Sooth. I work in Bangalore, India. Uh, I'm a senior scientist here at the Center for Brain and Mind uh, at the National Institute of Mental Health and Neurosciences. Uh, I received my Ben Barris Spotlight Award in the year 2022. Uh, our work is in the area of psychiatric genetics. Our lab uses genetics and stem cell models to try to understand the biological basis of psychiatric disorders. Winning this award has been incredibly beneficial. It's made it possible for me to bring new techniques to our lab, set up new collaborations. Uh, being in India, uh, options for us uh, to travel to other countries are extremely limited. So in that sense, getting this award was just what the doctor ordered. We, we are able to establish new techniques and uh, move our research forward in ways that wouldn't otherwise have been possible. My name is Olavo Manau. I work at the Federal University of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. I was a recipient of the Bimbari Spotlight Award in 2022. The award was used to initially set up the Brazilian Reproducibility Network, which is a network to bring together people and institutions in Brazil who are interested in research reproducibility. The Brazilian Reproducibility Network has grown since the award. It has grown in size, it has grown in resources. It has now received larger funding from uh, Brazilian agencies. Uh, so I guess the award has served as a seed for something that, that will hopefully outlast it and last for a long time. So my name is um, Nikki Crew, and I am a senior lecturer um, in the Forest and Agricultural Biotechnology Institute and the Department of Plant and Soil Sciences at the University of Pretoria. So I received my um, Ben Barris Spotlight Award in 2023. I will be using this award to take myself and my PhD student to China to attend the International Sunflower Conference this year in August. This award means a great deal to me, especially in the context of being able to experience a first international trip with my PhD student, because I really believe that travel and exposure grows a person's horizons. My name is Sophie Dipaldi. I am a postdoctoral researcher at Trinity College Dublin and an Atlantic Fellow for Equity in Brain Health at the Global Brain Health Institute in Ireland. My research aims to understand cognitive and social emotional processes in healthy people and those with neurodegenerative diseases like dementia. Importantly, my work has a special focus on underrepresented populations from Latin America who face additional challenges due to socioeconomic disadvantages and having been historically excluded from research. For me, winning this award means a lot because it is in the names of Ben Barres, who was an advocate for diversity among scientists. And I am truly committed to making science more inclusive. Together, I truly believe that having received this award will boost new opportunities for my career and my community.